You know, I love it. Wait, I just love it with big, with big bad corporations like Nintendo go after emulators because they haven't learned a damn freaking thing. As we've been trying to explain it to them for so freaking long. That emulation does not equal piracy. And knowing Nintendo, I was like, show later, they do, they dabble in emulation themselves. So they just prove themselves to be hypocritical when it comes to their stance on emulation. But what do I mean that? And also at the same time, they're pulling Sony as Sony did something very similar to this all those years ago. Oh, what do I mean? But uh, I also have a little theory about why Nintendo is doing this, but we'll get to that at the end. So let's get started then, shall we? So here's a preliminary statement, as again, they're, they're suing the company that created the Yuzu Switch emulator. So plaintiff is Nintendo of America, and then the defendant is Tropical Haze LLC, which is an entity that owns, develops, and operates Yuzu, video game emulator for Switch games. A video game, they kind of explain what an emulator is, I guess, even though most people on the internet who know, who cover gaming, would know what an emulator is. Yuzu allows Nintendo Switch games, which Nintendo authorizes to play solely on the Switch consoles, to be played. Defendant and its agents are fully aware of the use of Yuzu by others in performing circumvention and facilitate piracy at a colossal scale. For, like, for example, essentially when every new Nintendo Switch game, it's already available to be emulated on PC. Like, almost essentially the same day, sometimes not e even weeks before it. As a circumvention, Yuzu's website acknowledges that the Switch's decryption keys, those keys are required to decrypt the games and include links to software that unlawfully extract these keys from the system. As for piracy, for instance, one recent big game, Let's Go Tears Can you see where this is going, was unlawfully distributed a week and a half before its release. Infringing copies of the game that circulate online were able to be played in Yuzu, and those copies were successfully downloaded from pirate websites such as, you know, like 4chan, Reddit, just well, now examples like that. Over 1 million times before the game was published and made available for purchase. Many of the pirate websites specifically noted that the ability to play the game file in Yuzu defends the development and distribution of users to the public, materially contributes to and induces no third price to infringe the copyright. Defendant is thus secondarily and liable for the infringement copyrighted by the users to which it, it contributes to Yuzu. So basically what they're saying there, they're trying to say there is that Yuzu and the company that made it is responsible for people's piracy, where, like, literally all they do is just make the, <laughs> make it literally available for people to use for free. That's literally what it basically is. Like, so how in the world is that even? The amount of gymna mental gymnastic Nintendo, you had to jump to literally come to that conclusion. But, uh, you remember how I said that Nintendo has a very hypocritical stance on emulation? Well, take a look at this. Nerd provides English technology for Game Boy Advance in order to bring Ga Game Boy Advance experience to Nintendo Switch Online. <laughs> Snake. Snake. Yes! Yes! Oh, Nintendo. Oh, man, you hypocritical sons of bitches. You hip hypocritical pieces of shit. You're really telling me so that you're going to try to pull the same tactic you've been doing for fucking years at this point. Where, in reality, I don't think you even think that this is going to actually go to trial. What I think it really is, it's a bully tactic. You're going to try to make them settle out of court with bi millions of fees to the point like where they have to shut down operation. I think that's what it really fucking is. And there's also, an I think that's another reason wh where I'll get to later on. Now... You know how I mentioned at the beginning of the video where they're pulling Sony? Well, it's because of this. Because back in the day, Sony tried to sue a company that made a PlayStation emulator, and they lost. They lost in, in court. So here we go. This is for the Bleem. Remember Bleem? I've talked about this before. The two days after Bleem started taking proofs for the emulator... Sony filed a lawsuit over violations of copyright. Sony had accused Bleem of engaging in unfair competition by allowing PlayStation BIOS to be used as a, on a personal computer and so it ultimately damaged Sony's sales of the PlayStation 1. The judge had rejected the notion and issued a protective order to protect David from Goliath. Sony's second copyright allegation regarding the use of it and their on advertisements compared the native PlayStation and the emulated Bleem versions, the district court had held in favor of Sony. Regarding the allegation, issued a preliminary injunction against Bleem. However, Bleem would later appeal the decision pr 
providing their use of copyrighted materials under a flat out fair use. The appeal was successful, with the court stating that the court of screenshots of Sony's games rather constituted comparative advertising in spite of the laws the release of the Blame Cat has caused Sony to file another lawsuit comparing them with unfair competition and patent infringement regarding the use of said files on the Sega Dreamcast. This approach had become very problematic for Bleem, despite no actual court ruling against them. The main issue regarding the pro financial problems they faced is that deal with defense costs of $1 million per patent. This had caused Bleem's work to decline, as so that they only managed to release three games, Metal Gear Solid 1, Gran Turismo 2, and Tekken 3 for the Bleem cast. At this point, Sony had obstructed Bleem from making developing further games for the Bleem cast and even threatened retailers selling these products. The legal fees forced the company out of business, and eBay auctions of some of the company's possession were held soon after, caught a huge library of worldwide gaming releases used for the compatibility testing. Now, the other reason I think Nintendo is just now doing this after all this time, because again, Yuzu's not the only Switch emulator out there, by the way. There's other ones out there, like Raichix, I think is the proper name. I could be wrong, but it, the name is, you know, is similar to that. The reason why I think Nintendo's just now doing this after all this time, even though Switch emulation has been a thing ever since the console basically released all the way back in 2017. Like, literally, Switch emulation has been a, a thing ever since the console released. So why I think they're doing this now is because there's rumors of the Switch 2 getting was delayed to March of next year at the earliest. So, I guess the second best way to deal with piracy by before releasing a new system is suing the fuck out of them, like Nintendo has done time and time again. And again, this is, I think it's just a bullying tactic by Nintendo. And you know what's sad? They're probably gonna get their wish, probably, sadly. Because I don't think it's gonna actually go to court. I don't think so. Because it's been, again, emulation does not equal piracy. I don't know how many freaking times I had to explain it. Like, emulation is not piracy. Like, the lawsuit even freaking said where there's a decrypt keys for the Switch because a similar situation happened with Dolphin, if you remember me talking about it. Like, where Dolphin was originally going, they were planning to put emulator on Steam officially, but because of, I guess, these keys that they had within Dolphin was the reason why it was blocked, basically by Valve and Nintendo, well, more so so that they don't, you know, get in legal trouble with Nintendo because of the whole thing. So that's kind of why. Now the whole emulation, my take on emulation is that where I freaking love emulation. I love the hell out of it. it. Like, it is the true way of game preservation because these companies don't give a shit about game preservation, you know, preservation, unless it benefits them, hence they can resell you the same old, old ass games over and over again. Because that's what they really want. That's why they hate game preservation. They have their actions are proven time and time again, especially a, a shitty copy like Nintendo. Look, I love Nintendo games, always have, always will. But you cannot. But they're a shitty company. They're so draconian with their IPs. It is insane. Is like they literally they take down like fan games and mods all the freaking time. They're for free, by the way, you freaking morons, for fucking free. Oh my god. Like, Jesus, Nintendo. <sighs> like, you make some of the best gaming games in the world, man. Like, but you, you continue to do this stupid shit. And you wonder why people hate your your company, but love your games. You see, and you freaking wonder, because you pull shit like this. Like, you want to piss people off. You just love doing it. But, um, you know what's sad? Like I said before, I do think that they'll probably, it's just a boring tactic to get user to shut down. Even though Yuzu has existed since the Switch literally released. But again, I think it's something to do with the Switch 2. I think it's why they're just now doing it. But uh, that's all I gotta say on this topic, though. Anyway, that's all I gotta say on this. But it's gonna be interesting to see how this plays out. But uh, we'll see. It's gonna be very interesting. But I uh, hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I'll be definitely be keeping tabs on this topic whenever any new developments pop up on it. So... So if you like the, cha like the channel, subscribe to it. We'll be keeping tabs on this, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, have a good one.